if your environment is clean, you find out most of these diseases that you see, even including malaria, if you have that you don't have stagnant water around, mosquito will not breathe. So the most important thing is that we must clean our environment. We must find ways and means of managing waste. And by doing that, we can also create businesses around the waste. Because the waste, like I said, is can be recycled over and over again. And through that, many people can go into businesses around the world. That's why some people kept on saying that let's transform waste into wealth. So we can do that clearly. And what we have been able to come up with the roadmap is trying to give you the step-by-step uh, road to that uh, to that uh, uh, waste and wealth. Managing your wealth at the same time, turn it into a business and turn it into wealth. Your name? I'm Veronique Bernard, the Chargée d'Affaires of Belgium. What, what does uh, this controlling waste and others mean to you? It is very important. It, uh, it's very important for all, us, for all of us. It's very important for the planet. It's very important for climate change. It has in, in influence all over our, our, our life, your very everyday life. So what advice do you give to Nigerians as regards to control of waste? Please, try to control your waste, use less plastic, try to use reusable bags when you go to the shop, avoid using plastic bottles and throw them in the, in the, anywhere, try to sort your, your waste, everything of that will be of help to, for a better life for us. Your name? Mohamed Bin Sukolo. I'm the opposition. I'm the director of partnership and education, Nezria. I know you are a mother and it concerns mother mostly. What advice will you give mothers as regards to waste? You see, I always say that it's easier to, 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 to teach the children how to do certain things. I always use this word, catch them young. It is very, 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 very important for the mothers to teach their children from childhood how to control this waste than changing uh, an adult's attitude or behavior towards waste control. Therefore, I call on mothers to do that. Teach them how to circulate, how to regulate, how to refuse, how to stop generation of waste. And when it becomes possible or must for them to generate, let them know how to circulate it and make use of it, add value to it so that they will make a lot of money from it. In 2007 and 8, we have a regulation on waste control and we are the headquarters of the um, EPR, that is Extended Producer Responsibility. And of recent, our DG has been made the chairman of the circular economy in Nigeria. So we are the enforcement arm of the Federal Ministry of Environment. We are going to be enforcing the Zero West. And we also partner with other, part, um, other organizations in encouraging and sensitizing people on the need to, uh, to, to, to reduce the five hours that is replaced or republish or even refuse the waste uh, which will control uh, waste in Nigeria and it will help in our health which is the mandate of Nezra and it will bring uh, a healthy and cleaner environment for all.